Bonjour. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes à Paris, and il pleut, as you can tell. I haven't been in France in about 11 years. I first came over with a company called Word for Word from San Francisco. It was before audiobooks really took off for me, and I was able to spare a month, five weeks, and we traveled around the country, performing at American libraries and universities. We did uh, Nancy, up in the northeast. We went down south to uh, Montpellier, Nice, Notre Dame, in case you missed it, and uh, Angers, off to the west, and so on, and back in Paris. And I've been wanting to come back for years, so as a special treat this year, being our 10th wedding anniversary, I brought my wife with me and she is behind the camera. Hello, Cynthia. <laughs> She's a very good camera person, not saying a word. Anyway, so I thought it's been months and months and months since we did a video blog and I thought, let's do one out here. So, are you counting? Because it's coming up to noon. Anyway, it's a rainy Sunday morning. We're going to go strolling around near the afternoon. We're going to go strolling around and I'll pick up again in a moment. But. Uh, Enjoy Paris. I'm going to. Standing under very wet trees right now and getting dripped on rather a lot. But I want to stop here because we're at the corner of um, Boulevard Saint Michel and Boulevard Saint Germain on the uh, left bank. And it's just those names, it's very romantic to me. I don't know why. Uh, the reason I'm over in Europe right now is not just to come to Paris. I came to London with my wife just about 10 days ago or so because I was invited by the Anthony Pohl Society. Uh, Anthony Pohl is the author of A Dance to the Music of Time, a series of 12 novels that uh, split into four volumes. You can download them from audible.com. Fantastic books. He has a, quite a following. He died about... Thank you. He died about 10 years ago, uh, but he has, there is an Anthony Pohl Society and they have a biannual conference and they invited me over to talk about the making of the audiobook uh, to the society as uh, the keynote speech um, a week ago yesterday on the Saturday and it was a wonderful experience had a great time uh, a really nice bunch of people but because of that since we I came over to Europe I thought okay we'll we'll spend a little longer and then I thought let's come to Paris because I haven't been here for so long and here we are one thing I wanted to say very moving last night um, my wife and I went to the Eiffel Tower and we went to the Trocadero looking out over the Eiffel Tower across the Seine and it was very moving because oh, I mentioned Sunday morning, it's Sunday, September the 11th, 2011, 10 years to the day since the terrorist attacks on the United States. And what I found very moving was that there's some event going on there, planned presumably for today. Big signs up, one in French, one in English, saying the French people will never forget, with a trickler and uh, stars and stripes hanging from the buildings either side. And I just find it extraordinary that after 10 years we're still Despite all that's happened, we're still united in, in our shock and horror at what happened 10 years ago. And it's wonderful to feel that support from the French people. We're going to pick up again at my favourite park, Jardin du Luxembourg. It's where I spent a lot of time when I was over here with Word for Word Theatre Company, um, when we lived for a little while on the Rue de Rennes, which wasn't far away. And it was one of my favourite parts. Of course, I used to wander there on Sunday mornings when it wasn't raining. Today it's raining, but I think it'll still be delightful and I'm determined to make it there before we head home. So I'll see you there in a bit, okay? Here we are, in the Jardin de Luxembourg. We're in the more formal parts of the garden right now, right in front of the Palais de Luxembourg. A little later on, uh, when we finish doing this, I think we'll go off to the wilder parts. Uh, it's where, 11 years ago, I used to spend a lot of time just watching people do what they do in parks all over the world. I think when I was there, there were people being trained in sword fights and, and some wild uh, martial arts, as well as um, doing the Tai Chi and the kinds of things that people do everywhere. Um, let me tell you about what I'm working on. Uh, when I get back, that is, and I'm actually doing some research on right now, uh, it's a book called I Viriconium by M. John Harrison. I can't wait to get started on this. It's uh, in the uh, genre of science fiction fantasy. And I know it's the author Neil Gaiman's, one of, one of his favorite books. And also uh, cited as an influence by Richard K. Morgan. Now, Richard K. Morgan, I've, he wrote Altered Carbon. That was his first big success. I recorded Market Forces, and that won me my first Audi. So I have fond memories of that, and I'm in the middle. I've just finished recording the second part of the trilogy of stories he's doing, 
Uh, this one was called The Cold Commands. About a year or so ago, The Steel Remains was the first part. And he cites uh, Viriconium by uh, M. John Harrison as a particular influence. Um, it's actually a collection of books, quite a lot uh, to read here. There's about 20, 25 hours, and it starts with the book, the novel, The Pastel City, then The Storm of Wings, and then In Viriconium, and then it follows with a bunch of short stories. Uh, and it's set in a, a, a sort of decaying society many thousands of years in the future. Um, and I can't wait. I'm just loving hearing people talking French as they go by. Must be France. Anyway, that's what I'm doing when I'm getting back, but that's not for a few days yet. So at the moment, I'm going to enjoy the pleu, what is raining on us from above, and the sights and sounds of France. And, uh, told you. <laughs> if we stay here long enough, we'll hear the one o'clock bell. And I'm going to say au revoir, à bientôt, and uh, leave you with a, another sight of Paris you might recognize if you go, go that way. Thank <laughs> you.